Hi everyone, I'm Laurie from Art Laura. Thank you for joining me today. Um, today's uh, painting is going to be pairing unusual colors. I've been doing a lot of research online of colors that you wouldn't ordinarily pair together. And um, I'm new to the art world. I'm just a mere grain of sand among all of you seasoned veterans out there who are so amazing. Um, I've had my days where I'm having a great time and then have my days where I have intermixed tears in the canvas with the acrylics. So um, it's a huge learning curve for me. Um, but for the most part, I'm having a good time. And again, I thank you for joining me. Um, this video, we're going to do, like I said, unusual colors. And then I'm going to put the one prior to this one. I hope out on the on the weekend um, generally every weekend I'll be doing a new video and um, I think I might want to do one more after that I have found some other unusual colors that pair together really cool and I thought I'll just do one more and we'll see what happens so let's get you down to the canvas and let's make a mess sorry for the wiggle I'm hoping that my tripod is delivered today, but I'll probably still have to wiggle you. There, I think we're good. Okay, so this is a 20 by 20 from Jerry's Gallery Wrap. It's called The Edge. And uh, I love the Gallery Wrap because I like how it drizzles down the sides and you get a great effect from the runoff of your blooms. I'm going to try to fill this canvas as much as possible with color. I'm going to try to not have too much dark center. I want to have a light center. So all these colors are pretty light. Um, just going to throw my pillow down right now. Hey, whoop, 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 cat hair. Boy, that was soon into the game here. Cat hair, geez. Um, my pillow is the PPG Multi Pro interior. And I think the number is 47 3110. And it's eggshell. And I love it. I do add the GAC 800 to it, uh, just in case. Um, sometimes my my art room, I don't know, I, I have to put uh, towels on my window. This was my daughter's room, actually, at one time. And I have to put uh, towels on the window just so that it doesn't come in the cold. And then I close the blind real well. And um, because it was cold in here, really cold, and I, my pouring medium was getting cold. I could barely mix my paints. My paints were too cold. Everything was just, it wouldn't move. So now I think I have the temperature better. So, because things have been drying nice. Plus, I was not uh, covering my canvases while they dried. I was just setting them out and just letting them dry. And that, then they would just, the outside would just dry too fast. The inside wouldn't dry and then they were cracking. So that was very, very frustrating. So now I, I cover them up with other canvases that are larger and then I put little cardboard all the way around. And so they're in their little incubator. So now this color here is Van Dyke Brown, which is gorgeous, but I wanted it to be a little darker. I wish there was an actual true brown. Um, this tends to me pull gray. So I added some black to it and I, I'm hoping that it does show up more brown than gray but I'm going to have to research that. I know that you can add, uh, there's like a couple different ways to add two colors together to create a brown. And I tried it and it didn't work for me. <laughs> so I don't know what happened there. Uh, this color is really pretty. This one is the, 
phthalo cyanine green and then I just added a little bit of white and then I also added a little bit of black so that it just toned down the brightness of the green and I think that's going to be really pretty too. And then this one here is the Lucas uh, Cadmian Orange. And then I added a little bit of the Amsterdam Permanent Orange because I really wanted it to be orange, like a nice bright orange. And I think I succeeded there. I think that's really pretty. Let's see, what color did we not do? Oh, this one here. This one I did the other day, and it is the Liquitex Light Olive Green with just a scant of the dark green by Liquitex on it. It could have been the hooker green for all I know, um, but any dark green I think will, will go, will do, will do it. You can do it, I think it'll work. And that's really pretty. So, and then this one here is the same green that I just showed you. And then I just diluted it with white, a lot of white. So it actually was more white and then just a little bit of the green to get that. It's, it, it has a yellow feel to it, but you can still see green in there. So I think that'll be kind of fun and unusual. And of course, my pouring medium is the Bare 8300 and the Minwax Polycrylic, and I do two to one. And then my cell activator is the Aussie Fotrol with the Amsterdam Oxide Black. And today I did about three and a half to one because I feel like my, my uh, cell activator's been a little thick when I try to blow it with the blow dryer. I feel like it doesn't really want to slide across the paint, but you know what? That could just be me too. So we'll see. All right, so um, three for sure. One, two, and three. So I'm going to start with the brown, but... I don't want to use a lot of this because I feel like it might take over. Is that something in there? No, that's a bubble. So I think I'll just do, whoa, look at that bubble. I'm just gonna do a little. And then, and then, and then, I think because the green and the brown together might create something weird. Um, I think I'll do the blue or this. I guess it's kind of a blue. I think it'll be pretty. So I'm going to do that next. Oop. Then this yummy green. There goes that ghost, moving my spinner around. I'm gonna get those bubbles out of there. Once again, I mixed up my paints and was going to paint tomorrow and then decided, no, I'm not going to, I wanna paint today. And I think I'll do this color next and then the orange. We shall see. I'm getting nervous because I feel like I'm just not on my game today. I don't know why. It's probably once again because we have no sun. Ugh. Okay, so here's the cell activator and then medium fan going to give that a try and definitely cool air there we go okay 
There you go. I'm sorry for the noise. I don't know how to cancel that out yet. And I probably never will. So just bear with me. ending up looking as unusual as I thought it would. The color palette looks way more unusual than it does on the canvas, which I guess will be okay. Let me give this a little puff. with that. Okay, so we're going to go for another one here and definitely one there. And we'll start with the brown again. There's my kickstand. There we go. This is definitely much thicker than the rest of the paints. I may have to thin this out a little bit. I think I'll do it in the same order because I do like that look. Another bubble. I've been having trouble with my consistency of my paints also. I feel like either they've been too thick or too thin. Still a learning curve for me. Oh my gosh, so many bubbles. We'll have to deal with it. And here comes another big bubble. Oh, it disappeared, thank goodness. All right, one more color, the orange. That orange is quite pretty. And that is selling up quite nicely. So maybe my cell activator was a little too thick. and thinning it out a little bit today. Maybe that helped. I still am not liking how I blow the paint, the cell activator across. It's still, I still feel like I'm not quite there yet, but I'm going to give it a good old college effort because I'm obsessed with these blooms and I really, I want to get this down pat so that I can feel comfortable in doing them. I, I, I feel like they're okay, but I just, I mean, that actually is looking pretty darn good now that we're talking out loud. Um, I generally don't get that nice of cell formation in the center. And so I do think my cell activator was a little thick. So maybe that will be one of the reasons that I was not getting a good cell formation. It was just kind of, the cell activator was just kind of sitting there. And I was attributing it to my, the way I was blowing it dry, or at blowing it, blowing the paint. Um, okay, let's do it again. Cool air.
All right, let's see how that sells up. Oh, that's really pretty in there. That looks like a butterfly. There's quite a few cells in there, which is yummy. All right, last but not least, right here. And I think I'm going to just add a little bit more paint right there in case I need to blow. Whoopsies. That was close, you ding dong. Woo. Okay. Oh, my goodness, there's that ghost. Okay, here we go. Well, seriously? Okay. Not a whole lot. And I'm sorry if the videos are long. I know I get long-winded. So if you don't want to hear the blah, 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 just fast forward. You know, it takes a lot, and then the, it, you have to know what to say, and half the time I don't know what to say, so I babble, and, and I'm, I'm, everything I'm doing is a learning curve, and I'm an old woman, and I uh, want to do this. This is kind of like my fun thing to do for me, and even with the crying and being all upset with when I can't do things because I don't know what I'm doing. I cry and then, oh my gosh, I'm going to quit. And, and then I don't because I love it. I mean, there's been so many times where I was just going to pack everything up and just give it to goodwill. And I didn't, and I'm really glad that I didn't because I do love this. It, it is a lot of fun, even though you... You know, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is that every single one of my fails has got me here and I still fail and that's okay. I guess you have to fail in order to find out what you're doing wrong. And boy, have I found out a lot that I've done wrong. <laughs> oh God, I crack myself up. Cause that's what I do a lot wrong. I've just never been one to want to learn. I want to just know it now, do it, get it done and over with, and bam, you're good to go. And that's not how this works. So that's selling up a little bit wonky, but I don't know why, but it's okay. So hopefully when we spin, it doesn't get all wonky in there. We'll see. I don't have a good feeling about that one. Just a little more. Okay, here we go. Okay, so now we need to decide if this is going to be able to come off from here because it is somewhat close to the center. I have quite a bit of paint on there. So I'm actually liking just the three. I think I'd like this to set up a little bit more. 
There's a lot of paint in the center. Um, yeah, let's just add some paint here and then we'll, actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of move this over a little bit because there is so much paint there. And we'll see what happens with that. I may have to add some more though. setting up pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty negative space there. That's quite a bit of negative space. I just don't know. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to chance it. I'm going to take a gamble and see what happens. I mean, it's gotta come off, right? Okay, here we go. I'm gonna cover up my paints. If I don't, they'll take a bath. this little cardboard here that I just cover and lean against all my paints and cover them up and then they don't get paint in them. And then I take my other board, I give it a gentle turn just to make sure it's not going to hit anything, and then give it a little spin. There's a lot of paint on there, man. I am telling you, woo, a lot of paint. This may have to be tilted a little bit too. We shall see. Yeah, that's really wonky, but and so is that one. But whatever. Okay, it is coming out the edges though. I would like to see this come further out that way. So I may have to spin that a little harder or we may have to tilt. I'm not losing as much paint off of it as I would like. Now generally, I go in this direction, then I go that direction, then I go this direction, then that direction. So today, I'm only going in one direction, and I'm going to keep going in that one direction and not change, and see if that has anything to do with some of the weirdities that happen toward the end. Like, if I could get this to come off there, that would be great. So we're going to see if we can do it. Getting closer. It is quite pretty. The brown is not brown though. It, it, I don't know. It does look a little brown, but it looks more gray brown. I want 
brown. Yeah. All right, let's spin. It's still pretty. I'm not saying that it's not. It's just not what I had intended and what I had hoped for. I'll have to try and figure out how to maybe make some of my own brown. I just didn't have time. Yeah, see now if that can just continue to come off and bring that a little more this way to get rid of that negative space, that would be the cat's pajamas. Let's give it a try. Speaking of cats, I walked into my husband's office this morning up in our, our home, his home office, and he has a small fish tank in there. It's I think it's a 15-gallon fish tank. And our cat, Boots, was sitting on his little table in front of the fish tank. The fish tank is on top of a, a pedestal. And the fish was looking at her, and she was looking at the fish. And I didn't, of course, have my camera. Wow, this is really looking cool. And I do love the colors, even though I was not getting the brown I wanted. But it is really, really cool. But I'm going to spin one more time. because I just want it to come out off that edge just a little bit more to get rid of some of that negative space. I don't know if it'll do it, but let's challenge it and see. Oh my gosh, what a mess. I have more paint on me than I do on the table, I think. Oh, wow, that is so pretty. And it, and it is coming off that side. And this is, this is going a little bit, which I'm glad about that. I would like to see that disappear a little bit. Um, actually, maybe one more time. Maybe one more time just to get that off a little bit more. I can't put my fingers over the canvas because you then you'll see a grown woman cry. All right, we're going again. think we're good. I don't mind that little bit of negative space right there. It's not bad. I don't know if I like that little wonky thing sticking out there though. I might just scrape that off and drizzle a little paint in there. Oh, and I also see a cat hair. So I gotta get that out of there. But I am seeing, I'm going to measure and see how much paint is left in the center. As soon as I dry myself off here, geez Louise. It's too bad I can't um, salvage all this paint on my glove. I could probably do a 12 by 12 canvas with how much paint I have on me. Okay. Hmm. Actually, that's not too bad. Just the tip of the skewer. 
Yeah, there is a little bit more in here, but it's not bad. Which will ensure good, even drying. Um, I don't know about this. Right in here, that kind of bugs me. I don't know what to do with that one. I may spin it one more time. But I just, I don't even know if spinning it would really do anything because it's just kind of wonky. Oh, I better get that cat hair out of there while I see it and I won't forget. There we go. I don't know, what do you think? Should I get that out of there or not? I kind of like, I feel like it just needs to go like that without having that. I'm just gonna get it out of there. Bugs me. That's much better. There. Now I'll spin it and it'll just kind of meld in there like it was meant to be. Let's give it a little spin. And then I'll take it down and then you can see the pretty, all the pretty colors. much better. Hopefully that'll level out and it'll dry nicely. That is much better than having that wonky thing sticking out there. I don't like that at all. There. Okay, gotta dry my hands off again. and then find a spot for it to dry. And I've got two large canvases drying on my table. My spinning table actually has, I had it made for me and it has three shelves on it. And the bottom one, it's hard to put a canvas in there when it's so wet. You just are, pray to God that you just don't like get your thumbs on the side or get this and that in it and it's like oh my gosh or drop it because you have to get down on your knees and then slide it on top of you know containers to draw to to stand it up and it's like oh my gosh okay i'm going to take you down there'll be a little jiggle jiggle but here we have the lower corner bloom it's very pretty. The colors, the colors are really pretty. I didn't expect this effect at all, but I think it turned out pretty good. It'd be pretty on a wall somewhere. Yes.
I, I like it. This is really pretty in here. So there you have it. So thank you again for joining me today. I hope you all have a good day, a good morning, a good night, wherever you are. And I will see you next time. Bye.